Hearn, I beg your pardon, um, who will officially launch this 2014 Leonard Cohen event. The ambassador is a great lover of music, of poetry, of song, and indeed is an amazing songwriter and poet himself. So I really think it's very apt that a Canadian is launching the 2014 Dublin event while we celebrate a fellow Canadian, and we're going to have three and a half days of amazing song, poetry, and all sorts of crack. So can I hand you over please to Ambassador Loyola Hearn, the Canadian Ambassador to Ireland. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paula. And the first thing we should do, I'm sure, is thank the musicians for their performance to date. And I know they'll be picking up again. Great job, guys. <laughs> Certainly is a pleasure to be here, to have been asked, a Canadian, to open up a Leonard Cohen event in Ireland. Uh, partially because I suppose I'm, I'm more Irish maybe than anything else. My roots are here. One of the reasons I agreed to come here three and a half years ago. Uh, my father's people came from Tipperary. Uh, my mother's people came from Kilkenny. So I have great fun watching the Hurley games. Uh, whoever wins, I'm on their side, right? But uh, it, it's great to be back. However, our people left in the late 1700s. So we have been gone a while. But anybody who came to my part of Canada, my part of Newfoundland, and, of course, we were not part of Canada. Canada didn't join us until 1949. <laughs> That's for the Canadians here. Welcome. And uh, at that time, of course, uh, Newfoundland still is 50% of Irish ancestry. It's split right down the middle. 50% English, 50% Irish. And in my area, it's about 100% Irish in relation to the people who live there, their ancestry. Over the years, because they were so isolated, they really didn't lose the accent or their love for culture or music. And, and I personally learned more about Ireland through music than anything else. Like we learn very little in the history books about Ireland. We learned about England, we learned about France and their battle for Canada. Nobody talked about the Irish and the work they did in the early years and throughout the years in building the great country we have. It's entertaining the world. Young people today talk about Leonard Cohen. People older than Leonard himself talk about Leonard Cohen. And when you talk to people here, you're from Canada, they will say the first name they will talk about. If you're in Canada, they'll say, oh, Rock of Richard or Gordy Howe or Frank Mahalich or some, some of our hockey players. But here they will say Leonard Cohen because they remember his name so well. And I think for Paula's sake it would be very fair to say in many of the Irish parts of our country in Canada, if you talked about Ireland and you talked about music, they say Luke Kelly, who was uh, Paula's uncle. And Luke is just known so well and respected the world over. But I'm rambling a bit because I'm just trying to tie in the fact that music brings so many of us together. And today I met people from, certainly from Canada, and it's great to have you here, uh, from all over the country actually, uh, people from the United States, uh, people from all over Europe, and the furthest away I believe from somebody here from Sydney, Australia, a couple of people, and uh, great to have these people here, I tell you, talk about making a sacrifice to come to an event. And, of course, for all the local involvement. And we can't forget the Yarko because without his dream, uh, this would have not happened. And it just goes to show, again, as some of us talked about tonight, if somebody really believes in something, you realize a lot of others share that same dream. But it takes somebody to get up to make that first step to bring it together. And as Yarko did it in, in your field with the event, Leonard Cohen certainly did it in the musical field and brought a tremendous amount of interest and involvement to that literary and uh, music field where he's such an idol. So it's my great pleasure, first of all, to thank you all for being here, to welcome you here. And in particular, I have to say, welcome to Canadians, as I am the Canadian ambassador, but to declare officially open Leonard Cohen event 2014, realizing that two years from now, 
you'll have two events. One in Amsterdam, a beautiful city, which I visited just a short while ago. And the second one in Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, those of you who haven't been there, make sure you make that trip because, again, like Ireland, Canada is such a beautiful country and one of the most beautiful places, as everybody knows, is Alberta. So again, have a tremendous time the next few days. And uh, somebody once said, you know, life really is a song. And, and it is. Life is what you make it. And you have no better chance to prove that than over the next few days uh, thinking and talking about the great Canadian, great contributor to the literary and music world, Leonard Cohen. Thank you very much. Just, I suppose, repeat that tonight is a get together, it's a social gathering, and it's a getting to know you. And I think one of the most amazing things about the Leonard Cohen groupings around the world is how we come together and we make lifelong friendships. Um, and I, tonight is part of that process. So hopefully, by the end of this weekend, lots of you who haven't met each other before will be lifelong friends. So, folks, enjoy your evening. We're thrilled, as I said, and honoured to have you here. And once again, thank you to the Ambassador for officially launching our 2014 event here in this amazing city of Dublin, Ireland. Thank you.